Why, hello, everybody. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, Joe here, back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I took a week-long vacation. Uh, I have, uh, finished Trial 3. Uh, Edgeworth is on our side, it looks like. The Soil Powers. Not guilty. I win. Alright. Court is adjourned. October 20th, 1.12 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby No. 3. I don't know what to say. Do you think somebody could, like, if they were really a big fan of Phoenix Wright, play the game, like, in time, in tune with the actual game? I'm just glad you're okay. Oh, so, while I was gone, here's what happened. I pre-ordered the new Smash Bros. and Alpha Sapphire, and I played the crap out of Metal Gear Rise and Revengeance. Uh, yeah, poor Will. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me, why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Do I have evidence? Um... Um... I don't. So I guess I'll just... go in and, uh... Maybe he was jealous that you had such amazing fans? Steel Samurai. I was the Steel Samurai. He was a big star once. He was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And a villain to boot. Kids love the Steel Samurai. He hated you. I think I understand. He could have just told me I would have changed places with him any time. I'm missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be doing maybe the Dawn Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume. Um, the show's cancelled. Is something wrong? No, no, of course not. Um, the show's cancelled. Oh, Edward. Hi. Say something, Mr. Wright. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um... That was too bad, Edward. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I... I really want to thank you. Best squeeze would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh... Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Power. Edgeworth, are you a nerd? Uh... Liar. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected you to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have had it would have been better if we had not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Uh oh. Ugh, Mr. Wright. Is this guy your friend? I think. They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Flashback time? curtain closes on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It's the talk of the town. Global City has rethought its programming change. They went back to making good shows again. Uh-oh. Nick! This is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think we'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that W Powers gets to play the lead again? He 
mean, Will Powers is this guy right here. That in that costume. <laughs> I love it. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. That is poetry. That is, that's amazing. That's beautiful, actually. Turn about the vibes. Ooh. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. Fifteen years is a long time to wait. I don't know voices right now. You can't imagine how I've suffered. You've suffered? I'm just giving them both the same voice, because I don't know who's speaking. Perfect opportunity presents itself. What's going on? At la I have no idea. Shadowy faces. I shall have my revenge. Did you beat the case? Yeah, I beat case three. Merry Christmas. Oh. Someone died. Edgeworth? What? Did Edgeworth just kill Did... Did Edward, Edgeworth just kill someone? Do you know if there's anyone good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged under a new under the rushing spring waters. Okay. Don't know about any falls, but Gordon Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. So much for the rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. Oh, someone's going to sleep. I can try to be a little more quiet. <laughs> we have family over. Say hello to say hello to the YouTube zones. Uh, <laughs> uh, town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordial. Tip of the hat to Messi, the Loch Ness monster. Namesake Nessie was proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident Gordy is the real deal. Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure is kind of low in the shower. Oh. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and spray with the hose? Good idea, Nick. ESP is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gordon Lake. But this time it's murder. Lord Lake again- what? Body of a man, man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was up-and-coming prosecuting attorney known for his skills and connections. He was guaranteed a long run and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like- Nick? Hmm? Maya? Fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. Uh-huh. When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Uh, talking? Anything to talk about? What to do? What should we do? Let's investigate. You should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. Need more information. Save the aimless and okay. I'm gonna try to be a little more quiet right now. Um just lower my voice to a soothing level. Oh, is she not playing that? Yeah. Oh, Myra? Myra? No. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna lower my voice to a soothing, quiet level so that I don't bother anyone. Um Turn down the music a bit so my voice can still be heard in the video. You know, Nick, 
We've been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Uh, yeah, nobody wants an attorney that's been in jail. Uh. Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's a very good in a very good mood. Well, he's in detention. Where do you think of, were you in a good mood when you were in here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney, then laugh, laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laughing will get mad. Burst into tears. Edward, you don't have so much free time we could spend it coming down here laughing. Yes, you do. He's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you either, believe me. What happened? Edward, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh. We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. And I've won all of them. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. You know, if anybody thought like that, nobody would ever get experience. Why am I always the one who has to get angry? Experience and time are just concepts that were in bench worth. Wait, last night. The lake is a long way from your offices in the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Oh, shenanigans. What's that? Yeah, uh, it comes to those light monster. Why didn't Edgeworth talk to us? Well, I guess we're going down to Ford Lake. Ford Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened? Yeah, Ford Lake is in the middle of the park. I can see some police all walking around in here. Gumshoe? Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe? Yes! Well, how? That's enough of the us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested the attorney Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! Just you try saying that again? I'll, er, I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits? Heh. <laughs> hey, Gumshoe, how long have I been recruiting? Ah, Eek. You're that Harry guy. Harry Butts. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? Just why are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, well, yeah, I'm on your side this time. We're trying to save Edgy. I'm here to help. Miss me any? Oh, he's on my side, too. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Well, you don't say. You look so sad. Things seem so bleak. What is going on? Who even died? You know what happened here? Huh? Oh, you don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the fucking fluffy pig clouds lawyer. Head in the... Uh, never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. 12.15, Christmas. It was about on Gold Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Edgeworth? Cop who had arrived on scene and arrested him. Cops got there pretty quick. Oh, yeah, they're actually good. Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? What about Edgeworth? You don't think Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness. I don't believe a lick of it. I don't care if there's solid videos and pictures and if I was there. Or if he even killed my sister in front of me, he didn't do it. I really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do, but 
police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really talking, taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all, Mrs. Dredgeworth has been to us. It's hard to imagine no one standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? Uh, me. He hasn't got one yet. Well, he did screw over a bunch of attorneys in his career. I don't know the whole story, but apparently no one he's talking to would take his case. Why not? Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he asked you to defend him. Unfortunately not. You got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge isn't that some fancy piece of metal. Right. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. I totally will. Who's the witness? Sorry, pal. It's confidential. The witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Is there only one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold on the lake last night. It was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're pretty and thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking in with them. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today, I'd forgotten. What are you getting for me, me for Christmas, Mickey? Not the time. Talk to Santa. Alright. Um. Uh, Edgeworth? I need you to talk to me, man. I'm not liking what's going on. There's not a lot of hope. Do I actually show him my attorney badge? Or do I show it to Edward? Oh, well, let's try. Wait, this is, I'm not doing this right. Present. I am an attorney. Oh, I actually have to show that to Edward. Okay. Edward, you need to look at me. You need to look at my jello. And you need to know that I'm going to help you. Let me defend you, Edward. Summon me in defense mode. Good one, Roy. But I'm not that hard up, not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Just to wet behind the ear of Roy with only three trials on his belt? Never. My case is near hopeless. Oh. Right. Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. They thought they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me it might be my fault they lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of the clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You, in particular, I cannot ask to do this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Anyway, is this really hard for me to ask? But you didn't do it, right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Stay out of this case. Why? Because he's trying to help you. I know. I know. But I don't want to help, okay? Why not? Just go away and leave me alone. Nick, he's worth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... The all is lost moment. He wouldn't let me. He's a bit of a celebrity. You defended him, and you lost your reputation, be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him, too. No, 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 no. Remember to steal Samurai? Edward helped you, but your client declared innocent. I know, I know. I went to Edward, I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not as he said. What? That doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Oh. Have we broken Edgeworth? Is he insane now? Nick. I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want you or help? I don't get it. Take the gum shoe, sir. What? Find something? No, sir. Not yet. There was a call from the precinct. I want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Uh oh, sorry, pal. I guess you've heard. Gotta go. Well, 
last any last things? Uh, I'll talk to you for how to get in touch with him. Um, I just will want to get in touch with him so I can get the autopsy report. We need something to talk to you about. All uh, right, here I'll show you how to get into the precinct. I'm gonna see me anytime. any kind. Directions to the police station. Detective Gumshoe. What? You like to take a look around the bar? Can we walk around? No problem, pal. You got my permission. Um, I don't have time to think about not giving you information when they're busy. I'm gonna wanna go to the precinct and see if I can get the office here. Is that Sonic the Hedgehog? Right there? Right there? Looks like Detective Gumshoe is right here. Something wrong, miss? Uh, what did you do? Not this thing? Let's try and see. I'm looking decency. No, none of those things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah, he's gonna be all right. Yeah. Maybe I should have asked for the, uh, the top seat before. I look like a criminal or something. Well, they've seen your face around crime scenes before, I guess. Not a beach. Is this Clark Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Bowser stuff. Hmm, probably not. Hey, look at that snack stand. Some cry dogs. Samurai dogs. I don't want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. When you like samurai dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind in time stuff. Kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? No. Feeling that's gonna trigger cutscenes. I'm gonna look at the trash can first. Anything that could uh, perhaps be evidence. Gold string and a ghost pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You never see them all on New Year's. Nick, I might be a clue. Let's take it. Come on, Nick. You just want to pop it, right? Is that obvious? Popper. Hmm. Yep, yeah, let's take it. Suppose it can hurt. Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. Well, I am a thief. Yeah, you, you are a thief. Right? Yeah. Three. Oh, it's, it's, it's Billy. Hey, why is it called Board Lake? Probably because it looks like a board. Oh. You see where boards here. Like, look like a board on the computer. Oh. You know, like an hourglass shape. Eh, yeah, it is shaped like a board, actually. That's a cool thing. Oh, okay. Alright, let's probably trigger a cutscene. Close. The Christmas fringe looks like it's half big. Banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Oh. It didn't. What about that signpost? Ah, it almost didn't say the left, but it docks right into it. Well, let's go to the docks, I guess. Woods, boat shop. And so I was gonna go to Oh, rental shop. Close for Christmas, it seems. This murder taking place is one of them. Um, one about 20 good for business with the boats. I've never written them. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Good idea. You bet. Boat shop. Small boat in the shop for them. Like anyone who's around. Close for best of Christmas. That's some delicious. I'm a bar stop now. in the murder, I wonder. Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Um... Then, maybe? Is that just gonna cost the same thing? Yep. I guess something here. Oh, that's not... I'm recording for 25 minutes. I'm actually going to end it off here.
here. Short episode, but whatever. Uh, thanks so much for watching.